Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to put together this really fun Valentine card. It's using watercolor and ink, watercolor um, brush and ink, and it's really fun, I think, <laughs> to a watercolor, and um, it's simple. So I thought I would show you how to put this card together really quickly, and I'm using one of my favorite die collections from the uh, annual catalog, and it's called, it's a bundle, A Wish for Everything. There's a stamp set just about everything. How about that? <laughs> Good name. And it's got all kinds of um, holidays. You've got Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, uh, Halloween, Valentine's, everything you can think of. Anniversary, um, St. Patrick's Day, that I never see, so I was really happy to see that because I'm Irish and I've got ink on my hand. Um, Hanukkah, you've got um, May the Luck of the Irish Go Double for You. Happy uh, happy about that one. And then there's the word happy and an ampersand. And then you've got um, wishes, so you can put you know, um, anniversary wishes or happy anniversary. So it's a really awesome and quite large stamp set. These are um, bigger sentiments that can go on the inside of a card, whereas you've got the smaller ones for the outside. It's a really awesome stamp set. Now it's a pricier one, um, but I think it's well worth it. And you know, if you join during Celebration, which is going on right now, you get to choose an extra stamp set from the annual catalog for free. And this is one that I think would be a good choice. Um, now, if you uh, also, you can get it as a bundle, and um, the dies for this are as fabulous as the stamp set. You've got the word happy, and you can't see, it's hard to see because the dies are kind of upside down, but I'll tell you what they say. You've got the word happy, and you've got the word uh, day, and then you've got, um, this one is St. Patrick's Day, and New Year's Day, and Thanksgiving, and Father's Day, uh, Mary, what else do we have here? I believe there's a Mother's, obviously, and then you've got Easter, um, I don't remember what this one is, let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, Christmas, silly me, and Halloween, and then of course, um, Valentine's. So you've got all your holidays in a die cut. And these are nicely sized. As you can see, these would be good as a scrapbook um, title also. So they're really nice. They take up um, a good space for a scrapbook page, although you can scrunch them if you want. And you can use them with the stamps. You could do the happy on a on the stamp and then Valentine's and then in the cutout and then days. You can do all kinds of stuff. You don't, you don't need all those su suggestions from me. You can come up with your own. They're really, it's a great collection. The second die set I'm using is called Be Mind Stitch Framelits. Okay, these were from last spring and they're still available now in the annual. And it is a collection of these awesome hearts and accessories. And I'm using three sizes. And this one. To get a variety of hearts for my background here. So how I did this is quite simple. I picked a few colors and you can choose whatever colors you want. I've got Rich Razzleberry, Poppy Parade, and Lovely Lipstick. Now I um, have ink in my lids. You can do that a couple different ways. Sometimes you can just grab your reinker and add a few drops of ink to your lid, which I often do. You can also sometimes squeeze the lid. I think you might have noticed me doing that on the Rich Razzleberry. If you don't want to squeeze your lid because you're afraid that you're going to maybe damage it, you can just grab a block like so and get some ink in your lid that way. Or use the block as your palette so you can keep your lids nice and clean. <laughs> I do this constantly, so my lids are never going to be clean, so I don't even try. Okay. Now here is the fun part. You're just going to grab some of your colors with your aqua painter. Get your brush wet. Um, the aqua painter is fun. You can just add water to the barrel and then give it a little squeeze. Grab some color and you're just going to get it on your page. And you just need a small bit of cardstock. Now I like to work with my Stampin' Scrub. This is something that Stampin' Up! sells to clean your stamps. I use it to just kind of rinse the color off my brush. And I'm going to grab another color. So I'm using Lovely Lipstick. You want some of your colors to bleed together. 
that looks fun. I don't like it to be a perfect blend when I'm, sometimes you do, but for this particular project I don't. Let's get some of this rich razzleberry. Maybe some more. This poppy parade. Some more rich razzleberry. And some more lovely lipstick. Now I like these um, blooms that you get when the water is a little heavy in some areas and you've got these color blooms where the water starts to kind of push the color. That's kind of fun, especially when you're going to cut shapes because then you get these really interesting um, kind of textures in your background. So I'm going to go back in and darken some of the areas just for even more added interest when I'm cutting out my shapes. accidentally didn't clean very well between. So I've got some razzleberry in my lid. I'm going to mop that up with a napkin, a paper towel, before I close my lid so I don't contaminate my ink pad. And I think I am good. Let's clean that up. I'm going to set that aside so I remember to clean it. Okay, now here you're going to take your dies and you're going to decide where you want to cut. So I want some interest on this big die. I like some of the white um, background of the paper showing through. I think that's kind of fun. Um, so maybe, but I want the lipstick color to be kind of prominent because I am using a lipstick ribbon. Let's see. I like the way that's going to look. And you're going to do this a few times because you can't get all your hearts out at once. So I'm going to cut this through my die cutting machine and be right back. And then I'm going to do it again. I don't think I need that size again. I'm going to go with smaller. I'm even going to do a little bit of this one. Oops. So as you can see, I just cut and cut until I used up as much space as I could on my um, watercolor. Some of these I'll use. I'm not going to use all of them. This little bit might be fun too to save. That might be enough. Okay. Now I just grabbed my, I wanted to put it on shimmery white cardstock. It just gives it a little bit of fun. It's hard to see the shimmer in um, the video. But this is shimmery white cardstock. It's a little heavier so it's nice and firm for a card base and it's not quite white and not quite ivory which is nice with watercolor paper because it kind of matches the color a little better. I have like band-aid residue I cut myself <laughs> on my finger. Please ignore that. Okay so I've got a card base in shimmery white and then an extra little panel. I cut this three and three quarters by five. That's that one. And now I'm just going to use some liquid glue to attach my hearts. I want um, my big heart kind of front and center. Well, front and slightly to the side. That's my main heart. So I'm going to put that down first. And then from there, kind of working with largest and moving around from there. Kind of just random. Oh, I like that one a lot, don't you? Let's put that one. Oops. I 
And you don't have to use them all. That might be plenty right there. And then I'm going to put down my happy Valentine's Day, which I already cut out in basic black. I'm just going to lay them down without gluing them yet. Sort of see what I have. Because I might want to reposition something. Alright, I got some glue on this one. Go ahead and glue that down. Now, hopefully my apostrophe is in my die. Yep, there it is. <laughs> That's one thing about this one. you got to keep, keep an eye on your little apostrophe. Oh, and my eye. Let's find that. A little bit of glue from here. There. Okay. And now I'm just going to touch this with dimensionals and then we'll do the inside. Normally I would put the dimensionals on the back of this, but since my glue is still dry, I don't want to turn it upside down and press on it just yet. <laughs> so hopefully I spaced these okay. Alright, now for the inside I'm going to grab that stamp set I showed you earlier be a wish for everything and I'm gonna find just a little reminder that you are loved There is my Valentine watercolor. I hope that you like it. I have um, some lovely lipstick ribbon, and I thought I might see what a bow looked like. Maybe right there. I can't decide on that. You'll have to tell me if you think a bow is worthwhile. Let's stick it on there. Got some glue dots here from my paper pumpkin. But I always um, do subscribe to paper pumpkin. You get so much adhesive. These little leftover glue dots are always sitting around my desk and I forget to use them. So I'm trying to use up these little sheets of paper pumpkin glue dots. <laughs> okay, there it is with the bow. You tell me if that bow is distracting. I think it might be. I think it looks maybe better, simpler. Yeah. Okay, you decide. You tell me what you think and then we'll go with that. I guess um, both ways are nice. And then here's the inside again. 
and I hope that you'll go and check out that A Wish for Everything set. It's just really a great stamp set. It's great for everything, right? And the Be Mine Stitched or Stitched Be Mine Heart Collection is just amazing. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. You get really pretty stitched scalloped hearts in multiple sizes. This really pretty floral one. There is a stamp set that goes with it if you also want the stamp set. The dies are amazing on their own or with the stamp set. And these dies, of course, are fantastic. So, if you check those out during celebration, you're definitely going to qualify for a free celebration item. Or, um, or think about joining. It's a really great time of year to join Stampin' Up! and get a discount on all these fun projects right in time for spring and Valentine's Day and all those things coming up. Mother's Day, all those wonderful um, holidays that are coming our way. Easter, everything. I, mean, I can just go on and on. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!